Two of them. the other screen protector at home. Not my best work, but I feel like humidity and time will usually deal with the little bubbles that remain. Okay, I think it's time for a little Q&A. It has been a very long time since I've done a Q&A, and I feel like there's enough new viewers that lots of people don't even know like what my situation is. For starters, I'm 37 years old. What do I do for a living? I make videos on YouTube. I have two channels. Adventure Archives, and my own personal vlog channel. When I am not actively filming a video for one of these two channels, I am editing the main episodes of Adventure Archives, or I'm writing music for Adventure Archives. I do not write music for the vlogs. I get all of that music from EpidemicSound.com, the YouTube audio library, or my own personal iTunes library, which contains many Final Fantasy tracks. On that note, I have had a request for music credits in the vlog. I will start doing that again. The house that you see in the vlog is the house that my mother and I lived together from the time I started the vlog in 2015 until roughly 2018 until we moved into this house, which is almost identical to the previous house. Then, earlier this year, I moved out and I still use this house as my office. Brian and Andrew are brothers. They are my cousins. Thomas was Brian and Andrew's neighbor growing up. That's how we know him. And I know them because their mom is my dad's sister. Now, how and why did we start Adventure Archives? When me, Brian, and Andrew would go on trips, we would always take pictures and videos. And we really liked Man vs. Wild, Survivor Man, and whatever Ray Muir's show was called. And we were thinking, you know, we could kind of make a TV show out of our trips. Then I got the Canon T3i, one of the first mirrorless cameras with really good video. We made the first five episodes or so from late 2013 until about June of 2014. Then in June of 2014, we released the first five episodes every two weeks. And and from there, we slowly, slowly grew. Hit 100,000 subscribers thanks to the Japan videos, which brings me to one of the frequently asked questions, when am I going back to Japan? Literally as soon as I can. Japan is closed because of COVID. I would have been there last August to climb mountains with Daryl, but we can't do that yet. 2022 August? It's not looking super positive, but it's not looking negative either, so we'll see. How slash why did I start the vlog? I started the vlog in roughly March of 2015, almost the same time that Casey Neistat started his vlog. I was unaware of this fact until later though. The reason I started the vlog was because I bought the Panasonic GH4, a $2,000 camera, and I thought if I'm going to upgrade my camera for $2,000, I better get some use out of it. So I decided to make a daily video. It actually became a vlog of what I do every day once I started watching Casey Neistat's videos and I was like, oh man, that's perfect. That aligns so well with making a daily video with this camera. And then it stuck ever since. Now, let's get into the patron questions. Do I only charge my car at night? I drive a Chevy Volt. It takes a little over 12 hours to charge from zero to full. I do indeed charge at home in my garage, plug it in every night always full in the morning because I probably only drive 15 miles at most in a day. When you're composing music, what is your process for discovering the best motif slash vibe for a scene? The scene usually tells you what type of vibe you're looking for. Actually writing that music is something that I usually fail at. Oftentimes the song just turns into what I normally write. Andrew, on the other hand, does a really good job of writing songs specific to a scene. If you give him a prompt, he hits that prompt really well. But I will say that sometimes what we do is we find a song that we know fits and then try to write a song like that. There's no real magic to it other than time and energy. Will my mother and I ever do the podcast again? Yes, it's just finding the time. I actually think that that podcast could be really popular, not even within the circle of people who watch Adventure Archives in the vlog, but just people in general. But how on earth do you market a podcast? How do you market any online content? As near as I can tell, you have to have a couple of standout little viral hits that gets you into the algorithmic stream where it gets recommended to people. Like Duncan Robinson, he has an NBA podcast and sometimes his clips will get recommended to me. And it's like that time that Kobe Bryant crossed me over or something like that. Something interesting that you're like, oh yeah, I'd like to hear about that. How am I liking the M1 Pro so far? Nearly perfect. I am probably going to be returning this so that I can get a two terabyte one instead. 
They just don't have any two terabyte ones in stock. But I thought maybe I could live with one terabyte. As a video editor, you cannot live with one terabyte. You need at least two. What is my favorite food? For savory foods, pizza. For sweet foods, cereal. What is my favorite cake flavor? I know this will sound weird, but plain chocolate cake, no icing. Like a 99 cents chocolate cake mix, I could eat the whole thing. Like I want to just make one of those for myself, eat it, get sick, and enjoy it while I'm eating it. Any future Japan trips in the work, previously addressed? Do you have any overseas trips planned? Not at the moment. If budget and pandemic weren't a concern, where would you go? Norway or Iceland? How hard is it to balance big trips from local trips for AA from a budgetary standpoint? It is not difficult. The difficult part is getting all four of us aligned schedulely. Finding time where all four of us can actually get our schedules aligned and then you get everything buttoned up, make sure you get camping reservations, make sure you get flight reservations. That's the difficult part. How much do you feel the need and desire to go to more exotic locations? I feel the desire very strongly. I don't feel the need as strongly, although exotic locations are how we get new subscribers. Right now, I would actually say that the biggest hurdle is how much time we're spending editing. We need to find a way to speed up our workflow and be able to have more regular trips and get the episodes done faster. Right now, it's like taking us a month to edit these episodes. They're just getting too long and unwieldy. This episode that's coming up is going to be two hours long. We wrote 10 original songs for it, which is about what we usually do. But we needed to reuse another 10 songs or this episode would have just been in production forever. It's already been over a month. What person or story inspired you the most? This is such an easy answer. Final Fantasy. You could say it was Hironobu Sakaguchi for creating it. You could say it's Tetsuya Nomura and Yoshinori Kitase and Kazushige Nojima for the stories and the direction of the games. You could say it's Nobuo Uematsu for the music. Actually, he's probably the biggest factor. If you want to know what Adventure Archives is to me, it's the feeling that I get from Final Fantasy using my creative tools. Does that make sense? What are my favorite Final Fantasy games? I'm getting one for my grandson age 17 and not sure he has any of them. I would start him with 15. If he's 17, 15 is a very modern style game, but still has the trappings and the feel of a Final Fantasy. It's also a very cheap game. You can get it for like 15 bucks now. If he likes that, then he could go to some of the older ones. I would suggest seven, nine, 10, 12. And then if he really likes those, he could go back to six, four, and five. And then if he just wants to finish off everything, then he could play the other ones. Eight's good too. I mean, they're all good. Given a chance to start over, would there be anything I'd do differently for Adventure Archives? Nothing is really coming to mind. I would have secured my equipment in the canoe. But other than that, I don't think too hard about that type of thing. I think you would probably be surprised or you wouldn't be surprised if you know us well enough. How unpremeditated most of the stuff that we do is. <laughs> <laughs> Filming and documenting for Adventure Archives is a lot of work. How much room left is there for actual enjoyment of the trip? A surprising amount. It is a little bit of work, but I enjoy the work so much that that's just another aspect of enjoyment. And actually, it's almost to the point now where if I go on a trip and I'm not filming it, it actually feels like a loss. Like I'm not getting the full experience. Also, I do not mind even a little bit making somewhat of a sacrifice where I have to carry tripods and set up cameras and stuff because I know that other people are getting enjoyment out of it. If it was just me masturbating to the own videos, I wouldn't do it as much. But since people actually watch them, it makes it very easy to make any type of minimal sacrifice that there is in the first place. Uh, what is my favorite regular vlog that I've done? One that's really funny, at least the second half, is called starting a fire in freezing conditions. Look that up, me and Andrew start a fire in the middle of the night, it's hilarious. It's still entertaining to watch. <laughs> Have you guys ever been approached to do collabs for Adventure Archives? Yes. And the same problem persists is trying to find the time where everybody can do it together. Previously, we tried to do one with Scrambled O, we tried to do one with Black Owl Outdoors, we tried to do one with Joe Robinette. That one's a little more complicated because he lives in Canada. I just tried to do one with the Normies and we had it scheduled and everything and then I got sick and now we have to delay it till spring because they don't want to do it in the cold, which I don't blame them. It's hard enough to get all four of us combined, let alone getting all four of us plus somebody else. What YouTube channels inspire me? Currently, Action Button by Tim Rogers. Incredible. 
Absolutely, there's nothing else like it on the internet. There's nothing else like it in the world. The guy is a genius. He went to my high school. Incredible. When you watch your older vlogs, what's something that makes you think, wow, my filming slash editing style has really grown? Not really filming or editing style, but one thing I've gotten much, much better at is proper exposure, proper color, and just making the actual image look better. I've come leaps and bounds. I watched some of those early ones. I'm like, dude, you had a $3,000 camera and you made it look like straight boo-boo. <laughs> Anyways, that's all the questions. Uh, I might answer some more later, but uh, this has already been too long. So let's get back to the regular vlog. Burritos three days in a row? What decadence? What decadence is this? That classic lunch tradition, baby. Ah! Uh. Ah! I can't be 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure this is not how you make a burrito. <laughs> the question for today is, do I go for a run? The answer is yes. Tomorrow I will take a break, but today, one more good run. AirPods 3, final verdict. They don't fit my ears very well. It's right one, it's on the verge of falling out the entire time. Disappointing because I like how small they are and I kind of like the squeeze thing, but fit is most important. So I've long proclaimed that winter is my favorite season. And the reason is, is because I like the holidays, I like snow, and I really like how when you have days like this, it gives you the most guilt-free opportunity to stay inside and play video games or watch TV. <laughs> There's nothing about this weather that makes you say, mm, I need to get outside and do stuff. I don't like cold weather, but I do like pretty much everything else surrounding winter. <laughs> what a bummer, AirPods 3. Now I know how people felt when the original AirPods didn't fit in their ears. It sucks. 2.09 miles, 17 minutes, 25 seconds. It's much faster than I have been doing. Woo! Okay, and with that, that'll do it for today's vlog. Thank you very much for watching as always. Hope you have a good one. See you in the next one. Quack, quack.